What's going on everyone, SJ Collectibles back with another toy review video. In this one I'll be going over my custom uh, Final Battle Feral Predator. Um, he has extreme battle damage and uh, this is my own rendition of what I think NECA Toys will eventually give us for uh, a battle damage final stand Feral Predator from the movie Prey. Um, I did take some liberties for my own um, additions to the figure, and we'll go over that. But as far as accessories go, um, I feel like this is what NECA may give us, be uh, because they gave us the standard version, they gave us the bear blood version, and I th a lot of people want like a final battle figure as well. So this is my take on it. Uh, I tried to make a lot of the damage uh, seen in the film. So we'll start from the head sculpt. Uh, I removed part of the tusk where Naru rips it off and stabs him in the face with it or in the throat. And uh, then I have the blood going down. I used a, like this uh, fluorescent paint so it's kind of, you know, it kind of glows a little bit. Uh, as far as the arm goes, I removed the gauntlet, I have it right here, and I dremeled down into the elbow, and I added a magnet, and then I sculpted over top of it, and repainted, and then I dremeled down into the wrist, and I added a magnet, and uh, painted as well on both ends, so now you can add that on. And you can have before he cuts his own arm off <laughs> in his own fit of rage from not being able to defeat Naru. So, and it doesn't go anywhere. So it sticks on pretty well. Then also with that, you can remove the blades also still. And have him with his arm on. And for the most part, it hides the paint detail of the blood uh, I have the blood on the ankle as well and this bear trap came from the NECA toys uh, wolfman figure so when he first walks in and it snaps on his ankle so I wanted to add that accessory as well again he has the shield um, I took the other uh, half shield thing it doesn't really get used and I made I cut all the stuff down except for like this spot and you can take it and you can put it into his wrist to cover that port if you'd like and it just sits down in there like that um, I did as far as like the part of the movie When Naru's brother jumps off the horse and spears him, I dremeled through the figure, entry hole through the back, and you can take the spear whoop, and stick it through him, like so. This is a part that I feel that NECA will not get, do if they make a battle damage figure they'll just keep the same figure just do all the paint details but you can easily move it back out and with the hair you can cover up the hole for the most part you know so it's not that visible and it's really I kind of masked it as well as I could with the paint detail so, um, it wasn't, like, noticeable that he had this big hole in his chest. You can still remove his, uh, you can still remove his jaws and change them out. But on this version, I just, uh, kept it, just this one mid, uh, the mid-opened mouth for this Feral Predator figure. Um, so yeah, I, that's pretty much all I really did for him. Just added all the battle damage paint. All around, you know, where he got shot in the back of the head. Um, and then 
that's everything as far as battle damage goes. I'll set him aside. And this was another accessory that I thought would be cool. Um, that they would make him come with. So, uh, we have this, this rock, you know. It'd be a sculpted piece if it was the actual NECA release. But in this case, I just found a pretty cool rock out on my riverbed. And uh, I glued the mask on. I ended up taking the targeting laser out of a laser shot predator and I know it's kind of sloppy but I mean I could add a thing on the back of it but I just put the battery pack and I dremeled through the mask and put the laser into it and put the button on so now he has the laser on the bone mask so be cool if NECA did a version with that uh, kind of like they did with the fugitive predator instead of having his face underneath like bringing the regular bringing my unbattle damage one be cool if they just instead of like all this that he had all the battery stuff inside of it and this wasn't removable still had the removable mandibles or whatever but had a button that was hidden underneath his head or something that you could uh, press to turn on the targeting laser. So, just a personal thing that would be awesome if they did it. But yeah, again, I just took the feral mask, I dremeled a hole through with a tiny bit, come on focus, and I added the laser shot predator battery pack and laser system with the button and it turns on and you can see the tri lasers there on the helmet so that's all I can really say about my custom figure that I did um, I have this as my placeholder for the time being until you know well if NECA does make one I may pick it up but I mean it's not really necessary I already made my own personal one so but if they do make one I may still pick it up just so I have the official one you know just to have it but uh yeah I hope you like the review I did on my custom figure uh, if you have any questions about how I did some of the things on on him please feel free to ask me in the comments section um, if you haven't liked and subscribed to the page feel free to um, and as always this is SJ collectibles saying toys keep you young and happy hunting out there everyone and also take it easy